coming up in this week's vlog. I usually only get ready like one time out of my week or twice out of my week. The rest of my time, I just look like mommy mode. School parking lot is completely dead. <sighs> I'm beginning to wonder if his parent-teacher conference was scheduled on the wrong day. Grand opening. That's neat though. I've never been to a Walmart neighborhood market. So my daddy's getting a haircut. We're gonna go get a potty chair. There's so many to choose from, Lily. I don't know what to get you. No soliciting. <laughs> He's asking about my door sign. We're just waiting on the bus since it's raining outside. A few other kids went on ahead and walked up there, but they're new, so they don't know that the bus driver will pick them up at the house if it's raining or if it's below 30 degrees. So we're waiting up here on the porch. Uh oh, your bunny's getting wet. Is it below 30? Huh? No, you would know if it's below 30 degrees because you wouldn't be wearing that. <laughs> the joys of trying to get out your door while your hand <laughs> and your mouth is full. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, well, I'm just going to have to get them in first before I can even shut the door because I don't have a hand to do it. I need a spare hand. This is really hard to do. What? Oh, jeez. Sorry, I'll get a look at my double chin. Okay. You gotta close it up, okay? Alright, now it's Lily's turn. I look like a mess this morning because I didn't even care to get all cleaned up or put makeup on to go run to a few places. So I'm going to this vacuum store to get some, um, Vacuum bags for a Kirby vacuum cleaner. They're only open on Monday through Thursday, so I have to go one of these days and it happens to be on a rainy day. Um, so I'm gonna do that and then run to the dollar store and get some smell goods for the house. I need to get some carpet freshener and some marshmallows. I think I'm gonna get a couple candles. Alright guys, so we are back at home. She's always got to say something. This is what I had to get at the vacuum store. I had to get these. And they're not cheap. They're $13.09 with tax for just two vacuum bags. I like them because they're micro, aller micro allergen technology. They really are great vacuum bags. Then at the dollar store, I was going to get some candles. But then I seen this. And you guys know these are usually not very cheap. And it looks like it's already been opened or something. But that's okay product itself isn't damaged. Um, I got another one of these which is what I already have on my piano. They're usually about nine dollars, just under ten dollars. This had a coupon attached to it for five dollars off so I only paid $4.98 for it so I thought that was a good deal. Figured I'd probably pay that for a big candle anyways. Mm -hmm. Are you eating marshmallows? I also got a bag of marshmallows because Caleb just had to have some. I used to use this all the time and then I quit using it because I had a cheap vacuum and it clogged up the vacuum. But it's that carpet freshener powder stuff. And I got this kind uh, because it has the animals on it and I've obviously got two pets. I loved using this stuff because my house always smelled really really good, crisp and clean. And um, it, like I said, the only reason why I quit buying it was because I had a cheaper vacuum and it clogged it up. But I've got a Kirby vacuum now, which is easy to take apart and clean out. So we're going to give this a go. And that is all I got. <laughs> Not a whole lot, but it cost me like $22 just for that little bit right there. Uh, mostly because the vacuum bags were the most expensive. <laughs> What's the matter? Huh? I don't know where all your food is. 
It's so cute. Yeah, I should be editing my vlog, but ah! taking some time out to play with my little girl first. That's right. Is your bunny gonna have something to eat? Yum yum. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, temper, is it not doing what you want it to do? Huh? <laughs> Somebody is not happy. You need a diaper change. Let's change your diaper. Anybody else's little girl a very short-tempered just a bit? <laughs> she gets mad so easily at everything if something like this she was getting mad because the dinosaur would not go in there the way she wanted it to earlier she came to me and i was i was doing something on my phone and she was putting this up to my ear and i was talking i was like hello hey lily and stuff and she was mad because i wasn't holding it and she took the phone and she went what? so she got in trouble for that Bump your head. Are you having a temper tantrum? Throwing your fit? Just roll it off. <laughs> You're on right, girlfriend. Just got done cooking some supper. I made some fried minute steaks. I got them in here to stay warm. And uh, I'm making homemade mashed potatoes and I've got some corn on the stove. Waiting on Tim to get home. He's already on his way. Junior just got home from school. It's just now 4.30. And Miss Lily's having her a popsicle. And Caleb and Junior are in the bedroom. Mmm, they're good. They're in the bedroom actually playing a game together, which is very rare. And I say very rare because Electronics seem to take over kids' brains these days. They don't know what imagination play is or just taking time to sit down and do something constructive with your mind and your hands instead of just staring at a game on your controller all day, you know? So, Timothy is actually grounded from his video game the whole week. The reason for that is because yesterday I realized he had, here I'll push it up for you, he had two Ds. Mm. Daddy's home. He had two D's on a progress report and he um, forgot to bring home his homework. So, had to teach him a lesson. Hard one learned, but he don't get the tablet either or his phone. Mom, my red cherry tomatoes. Luckily, they're starting to turn color before the weather. What the hell are those? So, they're cherry tomatoes. The rainbow. Man, we gotta kill these dogs. First Chico, there he is. My dog has escaped. Don't do it, bones inside. Are you eating some tomatoes? Why watch this? Now watch me whip. Now watch me the zombie whip. The zombie whip. <laughs> hey, hey, don't you dare! It's not. I don't think it's. It's not.
So it's good to be ready. <laughs> Getting yourself all cleaned up and put a little bit of makeup on and get a fresh face. I usually only get ready like one time out of my week or twice out of my week when my husband's off work. So the rest of my time I just look like mommy mode. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got the kids outside playing right now. It's a little cool outside so they're wearing their pants and jackets. Surprise Lily's leaving her pants on because she's now at that age where she will take off everything. <laughs> I can't keep nothing on her, even diapers. And that's part of the reason why I'm going through diapers so fast because she wants to take them off all the time. But I did something a little different with my hair today. I did it curly, but I kind of put it up in a little hump up here. Uh, just need a, a change. I'd like to uh, put some more blonde in my hair, but I don't know. My hair is so dried out as it is that I'm trying to discourage myself away from putting any kind of harsh chemicals or products in my hair that I'm not familiar with. Look at all that that he ate. I fixed him a, well, what it, it was a whole ham and cheese sandwich and I cut it in half and uh, he got half and Lily got half and look how much he ate. Like that is freaking amazing. Like that kid does not eat. He lives off of milk, chocolate milk to be exact, <laughs> and Cheetos and candy. Lily, she was the one who didn't eat. So I ended up giving her a hot dog to see if she would eat that. And I heated it up, cut it up, she wouldn't eat it. So all she ate was a few Cheetos and a couple bites of my dinner, which I had one of those Michelina vegetable beef stir fry dinners, which is actually really good. But sometimes whenever I eat those things, I get a little leery because of the rice. Uh, my grandma told me a story about how when she went to this restaurant there called Taco John's um, to get like a a beef and bean burrito, I think is what it was, or something like that, but it had the rice in it. I got something on my teeth. Uh, there we go. She seen that what what was supposed to have been rice was moving, and it turns out it was maggots. And I probably just put a buzz kill on anybody who's been eating rice or just ate rice or is fixing to eat rice, so I apologize for that, but when I eat rice, I tend to think of that now too since my grandma told me that story, so sorry. <laughs> so I ended up not even eating all mine because I didn't think about it until I got halfway through it and then one of the pieces of rice, I was like, oh, I don't think I'm going to finish this. So now I'm having me something I shouldn't be having, but yummy. Mm, so good. Zebra snack cakes. Like I said, my, my cabinet's full of junk. I'm, I'm telling you, I can't get away from the junk food. I have a problem. I need a dietitian. I need a nutritionist. But, got all my windows open. It's a pretty nice day out. I mean, it's gloomy. I was trying to see if my camera would zoom in, but it won't. But yeah, it's kind of gloomy. Outside. I mean, today literally screams fall. So, <laughs> whoa. My camera looks really really foggy crazy but anyways i'm gonna sit here and enjoy my snack cake and play a few games on my phone uh it's like 1 30 ish somewhere around there i got timothy's back to school or not back to school um brain fart um parent teacher conference this evening at six o'clock and it's only gonna be for 15 minutes uh, but this year he has two teachers so i'll have to split that time between the two and see how he's doing in each class with all subjects which, like I said, I already know he's doing pretty o pretty okay besides language arts and reading. He's got, did have D's in there at the beginning of the week. So I don't know if that's changed since then. I'll let you guys know how that goes whenever we get there. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. The school parking lot is completely dead. <sighs> I'm beginning to wonder if his parent-teacher conference was scheduled on the wrong day because on the calendar it's supposed to be high school parent teacher conferences today not elementary so i think i just seen this one on <laughs> yeah and those are heavy doors i was about to say we're locked i think i gotta hit the when you're heavy doors you gotta pull on it i really like that one shirt too Alrighty, so, 
at a good conference. And that's called uh, Terria. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you have Minecraft. Okay, so Timothy overall had a really good conference. His grades are passing, um, but next week he will have an opportunity to be able to get his D's up. So that is really good. His performance level is really good. I mean, he's staying right where he needs to be. He just needs to put more of his own hard work and effort into his classwork. Of course, I notice at home with his homework, especially reading and language arts, he, um, he usually wants mommy to pretty much do it for him and I've been having to explain to him that oh, see, there's, mommy can't do your work for you because I'm not at school when you do your work so that's gonna look too like too totally yeah no but I have to ring the bell to get back in I'm gonna have to go through all that. you can take it with you to school tomorrow no yes because I'm not going back in there to push the buzzer again junior no. they're in conference if I push that buzzer it's gonna disrupt them I'm not doing that you can do it tomorrow but anyways so um, yeah, he's doing really good. The student before him, um, it was kind of an awkward parent-teacher conference because we had it in the office, so, like, parents and students were able to hear in on what was going on with other students, <laughs> so it was kind of hard to not hear everything that's going on, but the student before us, when we got there, um, got it broke down to him <laughs> pretty much by the teacher. I felt kind of like teachers were pretty much getting on to him and stuff because the boy was bringing like batteries and things like that to school which is you know hazardous it's not very safe telling people to lick it. oh that was the boy that you were telling me about wasn't it yeah he was trying to get their tongue stink uh yeah so he got in trouble for that as far as timothy goes they said that he's really good in class he has a social anxiety obviously which i already knew about um, when he, he, he can do the work, but when he's called on during class to give an answer, he freezes up and gets shy. It was the same way whenever I was a kid. I'm sure most of you were as well. It's just something that comes with the territory, you know. I definitely have social anxiety myself, even to this day. Not as bad as I did when I was a kid, but uh, Timothy, he just, he has it. He's always had anxiety, and um, I think it'll get better in time and when his grades get up like the teachers had said his confidence level will be better and uh, when he's called on during class he won't be so you know shy to give an answer because he'll know it and that's the thing he just doesn't have the confidence and he doesn't push himself hard enough in class so anyways we're gonna get back home now it is 6 20 and I haven't eaten dinner yet and I don't know if Caleb's eaten yet or not but I left Caleb and Lily at home with Tim so I'm sure they're eating now. <laughs> I had to make a quick trip to the dollar store because I had to get Lily some diapers again early. <laughs> Usually I try to get them every Friday when Tim gets his paycheck, but um, she's been running low and plus while I was on the phone with Tim explaining him how his conference went, um, she had took her diaper off. So he had to put another one on her, which only left her with like one. So got her some of those, but Timothy, what did you find? Huh? A five dollar bill. A five dollar bill. Alright, sit back and buckle up please. I got about six. Um, we were going in the store and he seen it laying on the ground and there was a lady that had just walked out and I told him to go up to her and ask her if she had dropped it and she, he did and she said no, she didn't lose any money. So we went inside and we asked everybody and nobody lost any, any money according to everybody else. So I was like, well I don't know what else to do with it except just Put it in your piggy bank and save it, I guess. <laughs> or, you know, maybe do something kind with it. You know, give back. Buy something for somebody. Good morning, guys. It is Friday, and I just woke up not too long ago. And I'm getting myself ready to do whatever it is we gotta do for the day. Yeah, I'm a little talker. I'm just gonna start off by saying that, uh... Life is so full of unexpectancies that you really need to hold on to what you got and count your blessings because you seriously are not promised tomorrow. Last night uh, on Facebook, I seen where my cousin on my dad's side posted a uh, post about having to make a 911 call because her husband was pinned under his truck after an accident. 
and wasn't breathing. And he was flown to Vanderbilt, uh, close here to Nashville, uh, and he was on life support. He was very young, I think maybe late 20s, early, early to maybe mid-30s, but he looked very, very young to me. Um, they had seven kids all together. He had, oh goodness, he had, uh, like, I believe it was four from a previous marriage of his, and then my cousin had three from a previous marriage of hers. My cousin went through a rough patch with the divorce and everything, and, um, then, you know, a, a few months on down the road, she met this guy, and he just breathed life back into her, and now... After 26 short days of being married, he took his last breath at 1.20 this morning. That's just so unfortunate and heartbreaking and very devastating and tragic. Uh, that's why I said just hold on to what you got and don't hold any regrets or grudges and tell your loved ones around you how much you love them and how much they mean to you because you never know when those are going to be your last words. It's just really crushing to see my cousin go through something like this because I can't imagine losing my husband. That is, I, I mean, you just can't fathom what that's like. So, yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there at you guys, you know. Take someone else's tragic loss as, as a blessing because you never know. You never know. Grand opening. This is small. Wow. Small. That's neat though. I've never been to a Walmart neighborhood market. And we're gonna have what, four here now? Three. Three. And the one next to our house will open up in on the 14th. Yep. This is exciting. I'm surprised they're not any more busy than they are now. Well, we're gonna see. Zero sugar or the original? Um, I've How tried the doing? original. Let's try this okay, one. Yeah, I like this one. It's more of like a. Are y'all gonna dress up for Halloween? Awesome. Oh, yeah. nice and cold too. You yeah. got a costume. Oh wow, those pants like feel yeah, different. Yeah, I will say. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you, nice. There's a. We have a whole line of the ultras now, so they all have that feel to them, and they're Hello. so yeah, good. Like that is so nice. My friend drinks these like all the time. Yeah. She likes <laughs> buy them. Oh, perfect. Look inside. Why are you taking your socks yeah. off? Sit down, baby. My is that was a successful shopping trip. Huh? That was a successful shopping trip. I got this idea off of Facebook. You know that, Tim? Yeah. Space saving for your freezer, and it will thaw out a lot quicker versus having a block. Does it look good? <laughs> oh, it's yours. It's heavy too. <laughs>
I found these at Walmart where we went earlier. I've never seen them like this. I wouldn't put a whole lot of that uh, in there. No, I'm not going to. Um, I'm going to put like two cloves. Yeah. I'm going to use a little bit of this thing. Making it for my father-in-law. And his cake turned out really good. Well, cookie, I should say. We got it sitting over here right now. I love how it turned out. It turned out so good. So, got it covered up because the icing is getting a little hard. Hi! <laughs> Uh, it's still early. Why? I don't want my beautiful stuff. He's letting his hair grow out, you guys. Back to the fade. With the bangs, right? Yeah. yeah. I think it looks good like that. I've been putting stuff on my face every day because I'm breaking out so bad. I don't want a flu shot. I just get the mist. I don't like shots unless I have to have one. I get poked and prodded enough when I'm pregnant. I did it in for me. And then we're gonna go get Miss Lily a potty chair because we sold her high chair yesterday. So we're gonna get her potty chair now. You need a potty chair? Well, you got the kind that goes on top of the toilet seat because you're a big boy. I need, I need a new one because it's getting stiff. He needs a new one because it's getting stiff? <laughs> um, I need one. I want to get a one. Junior's wanting to go to GameStop for a game because he's got some money. <laughs> You can get, you can get one of those. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Put that back over there. I'm gonna oh. go mining. Mm -hmm. Mom, I'm gonna go mining. Put it back in there. Put it back in there. Mom. No, Lily, pick this one up. Watch out, baby. Um, it's on my hair. Where'd you get that? It's an Enderman. What is that? It's an Enderman. <laughs> So while daddy's getting a haircut, we're gonna go get a potty chair. I want this. I want this that. Oh, I gotta get sissy on, honey. No, don't get some meat. You can't get the pie man one. You can't get a pie man one. These are <laughs> She's already trying I'm to figure it out. I want, I want some nose. Well, honey, you're potty trained already. <laughs> Makes potty sounds. Uh, my <laughs> dog. That's cute. Oh, there's so many to choose from, Lily. I don't know what to get you. What's that, my fun potty? What is that? Oh, it's got stickers to it. That's boyish, though. I think I'm gonna get... I like that one. That one's kind of cute. Easy to clean. Oh, you like that one? <laughs> Are you trying to pull your own potty seat you want off? Do you like that one? That's a ladybug potty. That one's a froggy. Do you like the ladybug potty?
so glad to be back home. I feel so tired. That's why I didn't really care to get like all cleaned up today. This is like all from yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> I just threw on the same clothes I had on yesterday and we just ran to a couple places this morning. I just did not feel like doing a whole heck of a lot. Now that I'm back home, I'm tired. My husband got a haircut, which it doesn't really look like he got one. Um, he's been shaving his head bald, but... He decided that um, he was going to go ahead and let his hair grow out so that he could give himself a fade and let his bangs grow back out like he used to have. That's how I used to have his hair when I first met him. What? Let's go see what he wants. He's calling for me. What? Where are you guys, Kimberly? I'm right here. Will you put some chili on the stove, please? Oh, yeah. Sure. Heat Sounds good. Up. Yeah. So I want some chili now. Okay. <laughs> want some chili now. So. What? I don't even know what he just said. Uh, anyways, I'm going to put some chili on the stove, I guess, to heat up for some lunch. I made a breakfast this morning, so I'm not even hungry. I don't know how he's hungry. He just had a bowl of cereal, too, when we got back home. He can eat, but he don't gain. I can eat, and I can smell chapstick, and I gain five pounds. <sighs> Being a girl is fun. But anyways, Lily's got her potty seat. Her and Caleb are in the bedroom playing with it. I told them not to really play with it, because I don't want her to think it's like a toy. I want her to know it's a potty seat for her to use to go potty on. And, uh... But that's alright. I don't mind her playing with it. At least she can be comfortable with it and know that it's not gonna hurt her. Ugh, I gotta clean my stove off before I can cook on it. I did not clean the grease off my stove. What in the world is wrong with me? And my poor thing! Like I just fixed it last week. It's broke again. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to probably Hobby Lobby and try to find me some of these little ceramic pots and just take all this broken part off because it's just styrofoam anyways on the inside and uh, put it back in a new one because they keep breaking on me and they're on my mom so I don't want to throw them away I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my stove and heat up some chili for some lunch wash my dishes <sighs> Finish putting laundry away. <laughs> Put some laundry in the washer and the dryer. Feels like a Sunday. Lily! What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Good morning, guys. Oh, it's Sunday. Uh-huh. <laughs> we all just woke up about close to 30 minutes ago and I just got in having me half of a banana for breakfast Lily had the other half and she's having a half of one pop tart too boys are just hanging out in the bedroom Caleb's playing with some trains and Timothy's on his game we took him to GameStop yesterday and he got four new games um, he did really good saving his money so I uh there you go you want me to scoot you closer <laughs> I um because at his parent-teacher conference, he overall got a pretty decent um, review. <laughs> I told my husband about it, and we decided that we would reward him with good academic and behavior. And um, he got to get four PS3 games. Uh, they had some kind of really awesome deal going on. I don't know if they do this for like all the different game systems or just certain times or what it is when they have things like games in the back that are just like overstocked and they just need to like get rid of them but they had a special where it's like four for 20 and I was like heck yeah because um some of the games were retailing for like 14 and 16 dollars and he was getting them for 4.99 each the first game he picked out was an Assassin's Creed game and it was the Ezio tri trilogy and you get like three games in one and one of the games he's already got which was Brotherhood and um, the other two was the ones that he was wanting that he didn't have and the guy, the gentleman that works there came over to us and he said, uh, he was holding this paper in his hand that has like a list of all the games that are part of the 4 for 20, two pages full. 
he was like, it's cheaper on you if you just get four games. And the ones that he's wanting in that one, because we were going to pay $24 for that one game just so he could have the two out of the three on there. Because like I said, he already had the one. And the gentleman was like, it's cheaper for him to just go ahead and get four games and he can get the two games that are listed on there and he can get it for $4.99 each. And I'm like, oh, okay, we'll do that then. <laughs> like Epic Mickey on there for like $16, but he said if you get four of them, then you'll get it for $4.99. That's a good deal. Are you gonna wash my dishes? <laughs> she's figured out how to, um, she's figured out how to grab the chair and pull it up to wherever she wants to go in order to get and reach whatever it is she wants. She reminds me so much of me whenever I was little. I mean, she has to like constantly be right up against me, sitting with me on the couch or whatever it is I'm doing, she has to be right there. She loves helping me um, put laundry in the dryer. She loves helping me take it out and handing me each piece to fold. Now I guess she's gonna enjoy standing at the counter watching me wash dishes. But she even, whenever I made that big cookie cake, which turned out so good uh, for my father-in-law's birthday, uh, she had to stand at the counter and watch me make it. So I love moments like that. I think it's so sweet that she's just like a little, a little looker and watcher because she's learning, you know. And she's definitely a little cleaner. She drags out all her toys out of her toy box. She will put them all right back in. So I don't have to worry about picking up her room because she does it for me. And I was the same way whenever I was a kid. I could always tell if somebody was in my room if I was gone for the weekend. It's a little warm, baby, because I got the dishes sanitizing. I could always tell if somebody was in my room. I had this kitchen set, and I always had my dishes put exactly where I wanted them. And I remember, like, if I went to my grandma's or my dad's on the weekend or one of my friends or something, I would come home, and I would notice that somebody was in my room because there was a dish moved and wasn't put exactly back where I had it. <laughs> so, um, I got a feeling she's going to be the same way. Oh my god, yes, Box and we still haven't watched it. My husband went back to work today. Uh, I was gonna get unfriended, but hang on, baby. I didn't because I came across this and I read the like the description of it and it sounded really, really good. But it's called Extinction, and we got into that Beverly Hills 90210, um, <clears throat> kind of like a replay of how the TV show came about. And they did it with Full House too, and they're gonna do it with Melrose Place and. It comes on Lifetime. It, it, they're overall really, really good and interesting to watch. It tells you how they pick the cast members for the show. It's like a movie, so. My husband got into that last night and didn't really feel like watching this movie that I picked out, but this movie I picked out is about a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> and I never used to be into that kind of stuff, but I actually really found the description of this movie interesting, so I grabbed that one instead. And I think it's an older one because I had the option to buy it. I think I'm gonna try to squeeze in an hour and a half today to watch it. Because I don't think Tim's going to want to watch it um, when he gets off work. He'll probably be too tired and just want to hang out on the couch and watch the news or something. <laughs> I don't know. I'll probably call him here in a little bit and just see. Because he may not get off until late. And we have to get that movie returned before we get charged another day. It's basically about where a lot of human beings go extinct because the zombies like attacked them. And there's only like a family left. And they like hid themselves off and the zombies weren't coming out or anything and they were beginning to suspect that something was was ba bad was about to happen so one of the family members went out to go scavenge for food and stuff and that's when it apparently gets good so yeah i may try to squeeze in an hour and a half today and watch this we'll see i'm doing laundry right now and i like to try to get my videos up on sundays or mondays if i can but I got my video up last week, uh, or yeah, well, last week a little later than usual, so um, I try to keep them within a good week apart, but I like to stay on track too, so <sighs> Sundays and Mondays are my busiest days of the week, because <laughs> those are the days that Tim goes back to work and Junior goes back to school, and Junior's got pictures on Monday, and next week is Timothy's last week of school before he goes on fall break, that fall, or that next week after, so from the 12th through the 16th he is on fall break. I think we may try to use that week and take the kids to the pumpkin patch or we may do it this weekend. I don't know yet. Uh, but I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> uh, Caleb hasn't been to a pumpkin patch yet. Lily's never been obviously. And Timothy's only been one time. 
so we got to get these kids to a pumpkin patch. What'd you do with the cup? Huh? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing with the dishes? Mm. Mm. Oh goodness. Mm. Hey. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> I totally forgot to tell you all last night that Lily went pee pee in her new potty for the first time. I didn't have to tell her to go. I didn't have to redirect her to go. She went all on her big girl self. And I am so, so proud of her and how easy that was. We were working with her yesterday quite a bit when we got home with the new potty chair. The only problem that she has with it is when she wants to get on it, she puts her feet in the, like, the toilet hole and then she'll sit with her feet still in the toilet hole. So we have to help her put her legs over the top. Now, last night when she went pee in it, she must have, like, straddled it or something because, I mean, there was little drops of pee around the toilet and around the top of the seat of the toilet but overall she got some in the toilet <laughs> so that was pretty awesome because like I said I didn't have to tell her to do it or anything she just knew to go <laughs> I hope that if it's gonna be this easy that I can have her potty train before Christmas but I'm not gonna promise myself that and I'm not gonna be too hard on it if she's not I kind of like my kids to go at their own pace and learn as they go I, I don't like to be harsh and push, you know, especially her being only 18 months. But you know what? That right there was a good start. <laughs> I am very proud of my baby girl. Right now she's got a diaper on. She's got pants on her, so if I take the pants off, she's going to want to go and take the diaper off every time she goes peeing. So we're going to work with her this afternoon. I'm just letting her play and, you know, eat her breakfast and all that this morning. Especially while I'm cleaning and that, so I'm not, you know distracting myself from trying to remember to remind her to go potty <laughs> hello <laughs> i thought that was pretty exciting i can't believe i forgot to tell you guys i forgot to even tell my friends and family on facebook last night <laughs> what <laughs> what <laughs> you want me to take your blankie yeah. well, what could this be about now she's gonna bring me her bunny <laughs> her bunny yeah oh your food yeah well, let's toss the, Well, are you eating it? Come here. You got, you got something on your mouth. <laughs> Such a big girl. Yeah. Such a big girl. You gonna sit in my lap. <laughs> All right. All right. Say, so we'll just have a seat on the floor for a few minutes, huh? <laughs> Mama's big girl. Yeah. <laughs> Say hello. Say hello. Say bye bye. <laughs>